Okay, here is a brief tutorial on how to use Puppet Pals from Polished Play. If you are looking for more advanced features such as using file sharing to use your own characters, you might want to skip ahead in the video. I'm going to go over the basics really quickly first. Um, here's the main screen to get started. Puppet Pals comes with a um, Wild Western theme and that's all the content that it comes with for free and uh, you just go ahead and pick a couple, four actors there you can, up to four actors it doesn't really matter and then it only comes with Bob West uh, backdrops as well but there are plenty more available and you can use your own I'll show you that later well, we'll just pick those three so that's basically all you have to do to get started um, here's your stage that you can create puppet shows, movies with. Um, you can see just dragging with one finger, you can drag the characters around. You can use multi touch gestures so you can drag multiple characters around. Also, you can pinch to zoom and double tap to flip. I'll just show you really quickly some of the things you can do up here. You can change your backdrops. You can have up to three. Um, down here, you can actually zoom into the stage to get a more fine control. The slider may look different in the final version. So what you do basically is you hit record and you make a movie, and then you can play it back. I'll show you that really quickly. Oh no, I lost my money. Ha ha ha. Now if I press pause, I can cut the scene with that. It's not recording what I'm doing right now. It's only recorded six seconds. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is I'll have this guy run across the desert with the sheriff running after him. No one can catch me. Come back here, you varmint. I'll press pause again. Maybe we'll just have the sheriff catch him in this next scene. Ha ha ha. Stop right there. Never. So I guess that was him shooting him. If that wasn't clear. <laughs> oh my hero, you stopped the bank robber. And we'll call that good. So once you're done um, making your movie, you can hit stop, and then the playback is available. You can watch it. Oh playback no, I lost here. my money. Ha, ha, ha. And you can see everything no you just did. Catch me. Okay, click, and it will stop playback. If you like your movie, you can go ahead and save it. And click done. And that will show up in your saved shows. We'll go to your saved shows. Those are found right here on the main screen. And you can play it back here or you can export it. Let's see what we've already played it back. Let's go ahead and export it. As you can read here, that your export will export it to your camera roll. Um, we're working on more options where you can directly export to Facebook and YouTube, but right now, you can do those things from your camera roll. So that's what we've decided to go with, and you can find it here in your camera roll. Or you can then export it to YouTube or whatever. Let's go back into Puppet Pals really quick. Um, some other things you can do. Um, here's more characters you can get. Each one of these would normally be 99 cents. Right now you can see it's free because the director's pass is installed on this uh, app right now. This is the, the, the best way to go is there's a one-time purchase and you get basically it unlocks all this content for free. Um, you can see the features here of what the different things come with the director's pass. 
Um, I'll just go ahead and download this. So you still do have to download the content you want, but it all becomes free when you buy the director's pass. So that's installed and ready to go. And see, it's right there. So now let's say you've bought your director's pass. Now you want to use your create. You want to create some custom content. So I'll show you how to do that now. Um, and the way we do that is through iTunes file sharing. We're working again. We're working on some better ways to do that more quickly within the app. But right now, basically, this is how it's uh, how it's set up right now is to do it in iTunes file sharing and I'll show you that really quickly okay first let's bring up iTunes you can see you click on your device here and then you go to this third tab which is apps and go down to the bottom and you'll see this file sharing basically all you need to do is put whatever you want to share into this section and they will become available in the app. Um, for JPEGs, let's, for backdrops, basically anything you add that's a JPEG will, will go into the app as a backdrop and anything you add that's a .png file will show up as an actor. This is my cute little girl. So here I'll show you, let's go ahead and save this. Um, Sunset JPEG to the desktop, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and save this PNG. You can see there's a transparent background. Save that to the desktop as well. Just bring up a finder window here and drag those two files in to the file sharing. You can see it's already done. You don't need to sync or anything. It's ready to go and available on your app right now. And here it is. You can see it's already up. There's my cute little girl. And comes into a category called My Content. This is where all your stuff will show up that you use in file sharing. And here is that backdrop I took, that picture. And there you go. It's just that easy. Thanks for watching. Hope that was useful.